Hello moms, how are all of you? This is Brianna, I'm an empowerment coach for teen girls and young women, for those of you who are brand new to me or this group. And I hope, first of all, I hope everyone had an amazing holiday, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or any other religion. I hope everyone is having um, a wonderful you know, holiday with with your family and then we're gearing up for New Year's. I can't believe like New Year's is in a couple of days. Crazy. I still need to make plans. I don't even know what I'm doing for New Year's yet. <laughs> I'll figure something out. But um, so I knew I wanted to come on and do a Facebook Live because I was off for just a little bit with the holidays and everything. Um, and I was thinking to myself, what do I want to talk about today? And it came to me quickly and it was all about motivation and I really truly believe that motivation is so essential to your daughter's happiness fulfillment and success in life and let me tell you a little bit about like I guess let, let me tell you about the things that I do to get myself motivated I find that this is so important for me in my life, in my personal life, um, with my business and you know the work that I do with coaching teen girls and young women, with everything. I need motivation, okay? So I am able, because I've been doing this for a while, I'm able to give myself motivation, but I also do things that are going to get me motivated. So let me give you an example. Um, recently, I um, I started taking spin classes, you know, like the cycling classes at the gym. I found a teacher that I am just like in love with, not in that sort of way, <laughs> but his class is like, I can't even describe it to you. For those of you who have ever taken some sort of like class, whether it's a spin class or some class at the gym or like soul cycle, whatever it is. And you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. That's how I feel about this particular class that I discovered at my gym. And it was so crazy because like a week ago I took his class and I kid you not, I, I started like crying a little bit in the class. Because the way he was teaching it, it was incredible. It wasn't just a, oh, I'm gonna come to this class and I'm gonna work out, you know, I'm gonna burn some calories and all of that stuff. No, it was like, it almost felt like it was a spiritual experience because the things that the teacher was saying, the music that he was playing, it was like an experience. And that gave me so much motivation. And the thing with the motivation I got from that class, it wasn't just for the hour or the 50 minutes that I was in the class that I felt motivated. It actually trickled in to the rest of my day. So like the class, I think that class was, it was a Saturday morning, it was like 8 a.m., right? So I'm out of there by nine. Um, you know, I do my thing, I shower and then I leave and, and, and I have the, I had the rest of the day, but here's the, here's the important thing to get. It's like the rest of the day because I had not just the workout, but like that motivation that carried me through the rest of the day. And I was on like a natural high. I felt amazing. I was like, I could do anything. Like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I mean, it felt so good. So that's like one example where I get my um, motivation. And for those of you, if you're tuning in, it doesn't let me see who's here. But if you want to say hi or leave a comment, please do. Or if you're watching the replay, let me know you're watching it. Also, let me know if you have experienced these certain, you know, the motivation that I'm talking about. Maybe it's something different for you, but tell me what what motivates you in life or maybe if you don't have it maybe it's something that you know you can work on and I'm gonna bring this back to your daughter and you know how we can get her motivated in just a second but um so let me like continue like some of the other things that I do that motivate me okay well another thing is like 
I mean, it goes in with the cycling and the spinning class I was just talking about, but me going to the gym. So I recently, um, I used to belong to this one gym and I would like never go. And so it was like I would pay money every month and I wasn't using it. And I don't know if any of you like have similar stories where you have like a gym membership and then you never use it, but you don't want to get rid of it because you might need it that one day when you really want to work out. And so um, anyways, I had a gym like that. I would go to it like once in a while. And then several months ago, I really decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. And I really wanted to, you know, start working out on a more regular basis. And I realized that that gym was not going to cut it for me. And I wanted to, you know, join a nicer gym. And so I did. I joined a, a much nicer gym. And while, yes, it costs more money, it's worth every single penny because they have great classes and they, you know, I can like sauna and take a nice shower and it's like, it's really, really nice. So I feel like I'm going to the spa when I work out, which is, it's a wonderful feeling. So I've been going to the gym more. And so like last night I went to the gym, there was like hardly anyone there because of, um, you know, like right around Christmas, everyone's away. Everyone is uh, with their families and stuff. So my family's local right in LA. So took myself to the gym and, you know, I, I found myself, I, I got on the treadmill and I'm not a big runner. I actually have said this before, like in the past to myself, I'm like, I don't even like to run, but I was feeling it last night. I was like, I was feeling really motivated. And so um, to like to run and just to get, you know, I, I don't know, just to get moving, right? And so I got on the treadmill. Um, I don't run consistently. That's, that's a little bit too hard for me. So I do run and I'll like sprint and I'll go really fast, maybe for like a minute or two minutes. And then I'll like fast walk and then I'll run again. Um, it's too hard to just continue, you know, to do the running, running and not stopping for me. So, um, but anyways, I put on my really good music that I love to listen to. And as I was running, I was like, I could, it was really, I had this crazy experience where I, it's like, I saw, this is going to sound crazy for all of you, but I'll say it anyway. I saw that the lead singer of the song that I was listening to, like telling me to like, keep going, Brianna, you can do this. But it was weird because it wasn't just about the running that I was doing. It's about like other things that I'm doing in my life right now. Like for instance, there's a lot of things I'm working on. Um, Unstoppable You is coming out soon. That's my um, online group coaching program. I'm just working on a few things before I officially launch it. So I'm working on that. You know, I want to get into schools. I want to do speaking, empowerment workshops. There's a lot of like things that are going on and I so it's like I could see the like the lead singer of the song and he was like don't give up keep going keep pushing and I was like okay I got it and I was like running 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 and um and it was crazy I had this like major experience and I started like getting teary-eyed because like I felt so like I can do anything like <sighs> It was, it was, it's hard to explain. I hope I'm doing a, I, I'm ho I hope I'm explaining it okay for all of you, but it was like, it was intense. And it was like this, this feeling like deep within me that, you know, keep pushing, keep going, Brianna, because like my work is important. And I know that there are girls out there, that there are young women out there that need, you know, the work that I'm doing. Um, you know, because sometimes life gets busy and I have private clients that I work with. And so sometimes like my priorities shift and sometimes, you know, I like sometimes it's hard to get everything done that I'm working on. And it was crazy, but like the motivation and like this voice that I had in my ear that was like, you can do it. Keep pushing through. Your work is important. And I was just like on that treadmill, I was going, 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 and I felt amazing. Here's the deal with that though. It, 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 it's not like it just ends, for me at least. It doesn't end when I'm on the treadmill and then when I get off, I'm like back to feeling like normal or whatever. I feel that way, like, you know, I felt that way that, you know, last night, even this morning when I woke up, still feeling good, still feeling motivated. 
So that's another thing that, that helps me to stay motivated. Um, I'll give you another example. Today, I went to take a breathwork class. Um, you know, some of you know that I, I teach breath work. I incorporate it into the work that I do with teen girls and young women. And, um, someone that I know was teaching a class and I really wanted to check it out. And so I went today. It was a really amazing experience. And being there, um, I just felt like really motivated. Like I got out of there. One, I, I also felt like really relaxed, but besides feeling relaxed, I like, I felt motivated. Like I can do anything. Yeah. It's like, that's, that's an amazing feeling. Right. And for those of you who are watching this, like, I know there are, you know, there are times in your life, I'm sure where you feel like, yeah. Right. So that, I mean, that's how I feel when I, when I do these things that bring up that motivation. Um, Another thing that I do, and I do this daily, I listen to motivational speakers. I don't do this once in a while, I do this every day. And here's the beauty of this, it's all on YouTube, it's all free. We all have YouTube, most of us, or most of you, you know, if you don't have the YouTube app, you know, it's like on your phone, you can just go look up any motivational speaker and listen to that person. And so like, I listen to people like, you know, Wayne Dyer and Gary Vee and Tony Robbins and like, but I do this, like I have it in the background, like I'll be making breakfast and I'll have, you know, my motivational stuff that I'm listening to in the background. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I have my motivational speakers that I'm listening to. Why do I do this? Why do I do this consistently? Why do I do this every day? Because it motivates me to be, this might sound a little cliche or whatever, but I'm gonna say it, it motivates me to be the best version of myself. And when I am the best version of myself, that's when I can help and support and work and coach the girls and young women that I, that I work with um, to another level that I wouldn't be able to if I wasn't doing this important work on myself. So it's so important. And I actually, you know, I just had a, um, a session with a girl yesterday, one of my clients, and I was telling her the same thing. Like I've told her before, like the motivational content is so important. And I'm like, are you listening to it? And she's like, oh, like once in a while. And I said, once in a while is not enough. Like every day, that's how important it is. We have to saturate our mind with positive thinking, things that are gonna motivate us to keep us going in a, on a, like a consistent basis. So, um, you know, another thing, you know, music, music motivates me. I don't know about you, but music is, you know, very motivating and inspiring. Um, you know, also like the books that I read, like the spiritual books, like that's something else that like motivates me. Um, something else, like the last thing I'll just mention, and then I want to bring this back to, to your daughter, um, is I've, I've recently gotten into Kundalini, which I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but it's kind of like yoga, but it's kind of not. And there's some, there's some chanting, there's some, like, I don't know, like working on the chakras and like breathing and breath of fire. And it's like really cool stuff. It's very, very different than a typical yoga class. You're not really doing downward dog and that sort of thing. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful class, beautiful class. And I just, I did, I went to one Christmas morning, a Kundalini class. And I swear, like I came out of that and I felt like I was glowing. I was just, I felt so good, I felt so motivated to do whatever I wanted to do, you know, for the rest of the day. But the thing is, when I do these things, that motivation, that upliftment, the, the way that I feel so inspired, it like, it stays with me. And the more things I do, the more of that I feel. So now I want to bring this back to your daughter. And I want to ask you, what sort of motivation does your daughter have in her life? I'm going to pause. <laughs> I'm just going to pause for a second because I really want you to think about that. It's an important question. I mean, what kind of motivation does your daughter have in her life? Or does she have any sort of motivation? If the answer is, I mean, you may not know fully, but 
if the ants, if you don't think that your daughter has motivation in her life, then this is the thing that needs to change for 2019. We've got a few more days of 2018 and then we're moving on to the new year. This has got to change. This is so important. Again, you know, for your daughter's happiness, her fulfillment, her success in life, not just now, but for the rest of her life. If she doesn't have this sort of motivation, she's not gonna be able to carry through. She's not gonna be able to push herself through, um, you know, like life challenges or struggles or obstacles that come in her way. She's not going to be able to pick herself up when she falls down and, you know, and, and move forward. She's not going to if she doesn't have that motivation. So like I, you know, just shared before, motivation can, you know, there are a lot of different ways that your daughter can get motivation. It might be joining a gym. Um, it might be, you know, maybe joining a, a sport like basketball or baseball or cheerleading or something like that where she's going to get some motivation. Um, you know, it could be getting involved with yoga. Uh, it could be um, listening, you know, just like I said, with listening to the motivational and inspirational speakers. I mean, she can go on YouTube and find these people and listen to them. It's so important. I mean, another thing is too, like when I launch Unstoppable You, you know, my six week online coaching program, like that's something else that is going to get your daughter motivated. So it's really, you know, it goes back to the question, if you, you know, if you feel like your daughter doesn't have the motivation, I would, say like hands down that this is the number one thing that your daughter needs to have in her life. Um, she needs to have it. It's, it's, you know, it's like one of those like non-negotiables. Um, and for me, it definitely is that way because, you know, it's really easy to get back into like old ways, right? It's easy to sleep in late. It's easy to just be like, oh, we will do it later. It's easy not to like follow through on the things that you want to do in life. It's easy to get kind of stuck in a rut. It's easy if your daughter is in middle school or high school or college or however old she is. It's easy for her to, you know, feel like getting stressed out or anxious or depressed in her life because there's just, it's just so much going on and she doesn't have any handle or control over it all. And if she doesn't have that motivation to kind of like, I see it like this, it's like, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's, you know, and that's what I, that's actually kind of what I do with, not kind of, it is what I do with the girls and young women that I work with. I give them a big blast of motivation because it's so important. And, you know, another thing that I didn't mention before in my list of the things that, you know, that I do for motivation, like I have also had coaches and coaches have been so important for me in making lasting change in my life. Um, otherwise, like, I'll tell you this, like I wouldn't be the person that I am that I am right now if I didn't have those coaches. So it's it's super important. So, you know, I just if you know, if I can leave you with this, just to really, you know, ask yourself the question, does my daughter have that motivation in her life? And if the answer is no, then maybe sit down with your daughter and brainstorm like what are some of the things that are going to get her motivated get her excited give her that like extra little push to come like come on you can do this i mean i know that there's a lot of girls you know out there that are just feeling empty or unfulfilled or like their life lacks any meaning or purpose or um they're like well what's the point of life like you know they're girls they're young women that feel that way they need motivation or even if your daughter is doing like really really well and she's got a lot of good stuff going for her she needs the motivation as well to keep going with it so it's super important 
So if you have any questions, if you'd like to leave a, leave a comment um, and just share if you feel like your daughter has the motivation in her life or if you feel like this is lacking somewhat in her life, please leave a comment or you can send me a private message if this resonates with you. And I'm just sending you all so much love. And um, well, one last thing I just, it just came to me. It, it's interesting because, you know, the work that I do with teen girls and young women, I am very much motivating them. But it's a very interesting thing because I'm doing something that my whole heart is in, something that I am so passionate about. I am also feeling very motivated by the work that I do. Like every time I get off of a call, you know, like today I had a call earlier, like, you know, yesterday I had a call and like I get off the call and I'm like, I feel motivated. I feel inspired because it's like, yes, you know, when also this is something that can really bring some motivation for your daughter is if, if she's lacking that like meaning and purpose in her life, help her find it, help her find it. Um, and one of the easiest ways to do that, if she doesn't really know like what to do or, um, you know, she doesn't know how to find that meaning or purpose, the easiest thing to do is to go volunteer. Go volunteer with like, you know, a homeless shelter. Go volunteer at the animal shelter. Go volunteer and, um, you know, and really see how other people are or animals <laughs> are, are living or it can be for the environment or anything. But often what I find is that like when we are connected wholeheartedly with some amazing work that we're doing in the world, such as like volunteer work, it really brings a new sense of purpose and meaning. And this is also what is going to motivate your daughter to, to really kind of, yeah, like I can do it. I can do anything. So just going to leave you with that. Mwah. I'm sending you all so much love and have a beautiful rest of your day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.